For the album, we had the idea of creating a closed uh, system and only using uh, sequencers and not, not using computers. We sort of had the idea before we made any of the music. And then just out of playing around with it, we got lots of different ideas and we were recording them as we went along. And we came up with a strange idea of, you know, if, if, you know, if it's so portable, why do we have to do it in, you know, in a dark studio in London? Uh, so we decided to go out to the Joshua Tree in uh, California. And uh, we actually recorded the majority of it outside at a gig in front of some people. The whole thing is based around this sequencer, which is called a Circon. I have this collection of synthesizer modules. All the kind of song MIDI information is coming from here. Uh, I'm controlling these different modules. And then all the sound goes into this mixing desk. To show you a bit, so um, this is my stuff. Um, I can control all of the uh, different elements of the track across here. So, for instance, that's a kick drum, which is coming from this module here. And then this is kind of like a weird bunch of cross-modulating oscill uh, oscillators, which does kind of weird bonky noise. And then there's a tom thing from here. And then like white noise hat created by this guy here, which you can change the sound of. This is like doing bass noises. You can change the This guy is doing these kind of lead. lead sounds, and then you basically put it all together into it. The live show has always been a compromised version of the record, whereas with this one, because we've made it on exactly this gear, it's exactly it's exactly what you have on the record. The only rule we really had was that we weren't allowed to make any sounds that we couldn't make with this stuff. I think when you get sort of new equipment, for us anyway, there's like a little golden period where, um, you know, you, lots of, you know, you, you're kind of interested in all the possibilities and all the different things that you could do and you're trying to push the sort of limits of the equipment. And, and it makes you come up with things you wouldn't come up with if you just made music in the normal ways. It, it felt like, it feels like the kind of easiest album we've ever made and kind of one of the most fun things we've done. We've been working with Hans and Jack for, for ages. I mean, they, they kind of understand, they understand from working with them in the past, the kind of vibe that we were after. And really, at the end of it, it was just, our, our brief to them was just that they should make something that would be difficult for them, but that would be fun. Simeon approached us um, to create the visual campaign for their new album. Um, and they kind of came to us before they had any music whatsoever. All they had was an idea. And that idea was a kind of, well, it was that they wanted to get rid of the laptop from their live show and from the album altogether, and that the album was going to be live in some way. And all that we were provided with were kind of, I guess, musical references. And one of the main ones was kind of crowd rock, you know. The other main thing to know is the actual setup. Um, they were quite clear from, from the beginning that they were going to be using two um, modular synthesizers with two hardware sequences to create their music. And we decided that what would be really cool would be to try and mirror their setup. Um, visually with our kind of um, equipment to
create the kind of visual campaign. So it's all aimed at trying to complement their music and build a world that is kind of harking back to that Krautrock era, but at the same time bringing new ideas and new technology. It's a fun system to play on. Like honestly, this rig, it's really fun to play on. You know, and like you can see them all down there and they've got it all set up. And when something happens, it's not something they've labored on for hours. The system is something that they've labored on for hours. And what it does, it happens in an instant. And they've pretty much given us like complete freedom, you know, um, which is really lovely to be kind of trusted so much with, you know, a really kind of quite important job. Um, and what that does is that it allows us to experiment and really have fun and just in my opinion every time we're allowed to do that it creates work that everybody can be proud of so it's lovely you know not to have any limitations placed on us really. I think Sonar's a great start like it's going to be not, it's, it's going to be really rewarding to finally see all of this work kind of um, you know have some kind of conclusion because this is such a collaborative project and it's just going to be really fun to see it all come together. I, th I think that's the thing with it being so um, so loose is that you can respond to the, to the moment a lot more. You know that by design every set is unique. We couldn't play it the same twice, even if we tried to, just because all the sounds, every sound is being generated, and um, there's so many kind of little parameters that there's no way of, of keeping them exactly the same. There's no playback or no kind of samplers or anything like that. You know, certain sounds and certain uh, parts of the song can be elongated or emphasised or diminished depending on how you feel. And obviously the visuals um, and the, you know, the kind of feeling in, in the room are, are, are a big part of that.